Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another EDU Enterprise Highlights with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we'll be looking at the originality reports that are available for both classroom and assignments within both Essentials and Enterprise. With the big difference that Enterprise allows you to run as many as you want to make sure that your students are citing their sources and that there is no plagiarism between the students' work. Now let's have a look at how you set it all up. Now here I'm on my Google Classroom and I'm going to set a new assignment for my students. Now this will be a book review and we're going to send it out to our students right now. Now before we send it at the bottom you can see I can tick that box that says check plagiarism, originality report. So we're going to tick this box and now we're going to assign the work to all our students. They will get that assignment in their Google Classroom and they can start working on their book report. So let's go ahead and open up a student account. I'm in my student account here and under classwork this student has been assigned that book report. So here we can see book review for Percy Jackson. Now this student didn't read the book and is going to just copy a book review off of this website. We're going to select this entire review and we're going to paste it into our book report. We're going to scroll up, maybe change a few things around. So let's just quickly change this here instead of saying world building, the environment of the story. There we go. And the rest we're going to leave it as is. Okay, our student is finished and they're ready to submit the review. They're going to click on turn in. This assignment has been turned in and they can now see that this will be submitted. Now what they can do before they submit their file is they can run the originality report themselves. Now they can run it up to five times on their document. We're going to run the originality report right here. Now this may take a few minutes as it scans the internet for matching content. It will also scan your domain for matching content between yourself and other students. And there we go, we now have an originality report that we can see right here underneath our work. And when we click on that, it gives us the breakdown of where the content was found. You can see it has five flagged passages. There are four cited or quoted passages. It has five web matches and five WordPress matches. It also shows us a per percentage. It has 87% flagged content. And so when you hover over this, it will even show you the web match and where it found those passages. So here we can see that it found a match with the blog where I took this passage from. Now let's say that our student chooses to submit this review anyways, they can click on hand in and this is now handed into the teacher. So let's open up our teacher view and let's see what our teacher sees when they open up the originality report. The teacher sees that one student has turned in the work. So let's go ahead and open this up. We're going to look at their work. We can open the file right here and we can see that on the right hand side that originality report is running. It's checking the internet for plagiarism and then it will give us an overview of where is found matching content. This will run and look for plagiarism across the entire web as well as within your domain to compare with other students. So it will find matches between different students and then it is up to your judgment to see if this was intentional or unintentional. Once the originality report is finished running, you will immediately see that this document has five flagged passages. So I can click on this and now I jump into the originality report. This shows me that same overview that our students saw earlier. I can select these different passages. I immediately see where that match is. I can also get an overview of how many flagged passages and the percentage of flagged content. And it also shows me how many matches there are within my domain. Now at the moment there are no matches within domain, but if there were any matches, then that is where you would see the matches within your domain. Now this is a great feature that helps you stay on top of what your students are submitting and it helps you support them where they're struggling whenever you see that they are forgetting to cite their sources or copying other people's work. Now originality reports are available within assignments and classroom. Now for unlimited originality reports you will need an EDU enterprise account and that is something that you can find more information about in that description below. This was another EDU Enterprise Highlights by Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.